Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, May 1st. We are in May. Here comes summer. Uh, this is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Wednesday, May 8th is our new moon coming up, so nothing to see. The uh, sun's kind of quiet now. Big stuff has moved off to the right around the limb. Looking at drought conditions, I put a little delay on creating this because for some reason some of these data sites were not updating and so I didn't have new stuff, but now I do. So April 25th, we had drought like this. That precipitation that came in took a nip out of the abnormally dry conditions. So good news for most of the farmers out here. I don't think moderate drought is a huge problem. Um, so we're probably doing good. Uh, looking nationally, just a little decrease in Iowa region, but not much else changed. Looking at smoke, uh, for some reason the smoke at all levels uh, isn't available. I'm just zooming into the continental US. I've got to do this pulled back view, but you can see there's really nothing impacting Colorado. Looking at our quasi animation of the snow uh, pack, we went above for a while, hit a good peak, had some warm weather, and now May 1st, we did get a bump up with this latest snow. Some good snows hit. Took us back into the green here. Um, not up to 100%, uh, we're at 90. But uh, that's good news. I mean, much better than being down here somewhere. Uh, looking at the precipitation, that was a lot of water that came through. Two to three inches, uh, as advertised, um, through uh, the northern part of the state here. Some areas here got three to four. You can see this kind of salmon colored uh, in here and up there. That's four to five inches in a few small spots. The rest of the area got half inch to an inch. It's just great water. Looking at our climatology animation for severe weather, first week of May. Uh, yeah, we're definitely on board for some severe weather as uh, possible. Looking at the actual uh, severe weather chances, we had a chance of thunderstorm on uh, Wednesday, and there's a few rumbles of thunder. Thursday, it moved out east. Friday, it stays to the east of us. Looking nationally, we have cold front that pushed through, cooled things down. Thursday, it was south of us, and we began to moderate. Uh, we have showers possible on Friday, just nothing really significant. Here's Wednesday and Friday. Uh, chances we see normal temperatures go from 66 to 70, 38 to 41 at night. We are definitely out of the winter uh, season. We could still see snow. We've seen double digit snows in May in the past, but of course it melts real fast. So, yeah, you can put your heaviest coats away and maybe tuck the shovel a little further back in the garage. Fair amount of moisture in the Pacific Northwest, dry conditions to the south. And over the next 14 days, I didn't have any highlights to show, so I, we're going straight to the animation today. Uh, you can see there is uh, a system coming in to the west coast <coughs> for Monday. It swings over the state. It just doesn't look like a really significant precipitation creator. I don't think the moisture has time to get back in. We have sort of a zonal flow after that. Another trough starts to dig down to the west of us, cut off. We're kind of ridging over Colorado here into the next weekend. So looking at temperatures, no huge cold outbreaks. That's pretty chilly, but you can see it slides down, moderates a lot, warms up, and we're back to normal uh, or above normal. So there's cool air in the west pushing out into the plains by May 8th and so, but it's just not a lot. Look at moisture, uh, precipitable water into the future. You can see that cold front kind of compresses some of the moisture, and then some flows in ahead of the slow. So now and then we should see some showers. It's just not anything really exciting. By middle of next week, we are really dry again. Looking at dew points, you can see the dew points do want to sneak in here. Those 40s and 30s, uh, then they get pushed out, and then they quickly return. That's that's nice low-level moisture. And then the Western Pacific Front pushes through um, early in the week. So 
let's take a look at the storms. Here's a, the system for the end of the, this week, Friday. You saw it just went by really quickly. Little showers in the mountains on Sunday. For Monday, Tuesday, there's mountain snows, and it kind of skips the I-25 corridor. Rain and thunderstorms out east. It just doesn't pull things together well for uh, lots of organized rain. There's another system coming coming in on Friday, but it doesn't really go out on the plains much. So over the next five days, minimal amounts of water, but some water is possible. Snow is light and stays to the mountains. Over the next 10 days, the mountains get some better precipitation, <coughs> but we're still in the half inch area. And over 10 days, the mountains get some more snow. So 60s and 70s into the end of the week, almost get to 80 on Sunday, cool down with that cold front early in the week, but low chances of precipitation. That's it. This is um, Longmont Leader. Uh, you keep the weather updates going there and great local news. So do check that out. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Hensworth saying keep looking up.